It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll play host to a battle between conferences. It's the Chicago Bears and the Houston Texans under the lights on Sunday night. We are just about 10 miles south of downtown. You get a look inside NRG Stadium in Houston, the home of the Texans. So good to have you all board with us. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, in this league, you know it, you lived it. Undergoing a changing of the guard at the quarterback position sometimes can be traumatic, but a lot of times it leads to hope. We've got a couple of teams here with young signal callers looking towards the future. And you know the old saying, Mike, in the NFL is truer than ever. If you have a quarterback, you have a chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some moments where that youth rears its head. But over the long term, both these organizations feel like they have an answer at the most critical position in all of sports. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set. And off we go here on EA Sports. And it will be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this, he can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Big gain of 27 yards. What a way to open the drop. Well, it's hard to imagine starting a game much better than that. Great play design. You can tell all week. They love that play to start the game, and Man, you can see why. Open man, downfield, it's Nico Collins. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. come up here first and ten they'll go play action with Stroud and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down so I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner, and next thing you know, they're gonna hit some of those big shots. Here's a give up the middle to Nixon. He'll get about three, and that's gonna lead to third down. This opening drive has been a good one, but will it continue? Here's a test on third down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation, and for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Fair Barron's kick is good, and the Texans will take a 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result.
three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. And we've continued to see the young quarterback, Mike, just continue to get used to the speed of the game. And I think that's the biggest thing you hear young quarterbacks talk about coming out of the college ranks. Regardless how good you were in college or what level you played at, there is a big jump in just the speed and the intensity in the NFL. And the quarterbacks that get caught up to that speed the quickest have the most early success. The ones that are a little bit slower things seem to take a little bit more time so as he gets more and more reps under his belt more and more starts in the nfl level at the quarterback position just expect him to get more comfortable and more acclimated and become the player we saw back to his college days Throwing on second down. Williams. We'll get maybe three out of that one. And it's going to set up third down. Well, I can promise you that's not what they had in mind when they called that play. They're thinking either catch the defense in deep, soft coverage, or maybe get lucky and they're blitzing. In this case, they get neither and pick up a minimal game. On third down, it's Williams. He's got a man, and that's D.J. Moore. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. So they come to the line for first down and ten. get one of the defenders to jump. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. A play fix. Now, Williams... A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. It's up and good. And the Bears move out to a 7-3 lead. offense ready now for their second drive the trail by four a touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten on 
the bootleg, it's Stroud. Off balance throw, it's complete. Second down, here's a run, and here's Mixon. And we'll bring this to about the 34-yard line. Montez Sweat, they're on the tackle. Here's third and two. Schultz is the motion man. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. This is going to work out. He's got it. The first down at the 38-yard line. From the gun, here's Stroud. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Tank Dell was the one he was looking for. And that will lead to a second down. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. He keeps it himself. Brown avoids the contact as he slides to a stop after picking up the first down. That's 17 yards, and that's a first down. Anytime a defense decides to blitz, Mike, they're always rolling the dice, and we see why. You bring that extra defender, and if he doesn't get home, that quarterback not only can escape the pocket, but there is a lot of room to operate downfield. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. On play action, Stroud. Throw on the run is complete. He'll get about six before he's taken down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Off the play pick. Here's Stroud. He's got his man. Complete to Dell. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. On first down, it's Stroud. That is brought in at the top. And he's going to be brought down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and so far they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. They'll run out of the gun with Nixon. And a short pickup down inside the 10. Throwing on second down, Stroud. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. What once looked like a promising drive has suddenly hit a little bit of a roadblock here, Mike. They're in scoring position, yes. But now on third and goal, following that second down sack, this defense has a shot to come away, only giving up three. 
So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Dell motioning over. Throwing now on third and long. A oh, great job by this defense. Nowhere near the end zone as we get to fourth and goal. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Texans are back within one. It's seven to six. making the field goal heads back out to kick this one away Valus Jones now on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Bears offense ready to take over for their second possession their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten Stingley Jr. off the edge makes the tackle. Now a third and two. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And he's not going to get there. He was looking for a cutback lane, but that certainly didn't develop. And now it's fourth down. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth-round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. The Texans offense make their way out to take over once more. The deficit is one, as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. First and ten. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Watch the pursuit by this defensive end. The quarterback tries to escape the pocket, but he just keeps on chasing him, and he closes that ground in a hurry and brings him down for a big sack. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. It's the Bears off to the early lead. And more from Houston coming up in a moment. 
Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Mixon. And this will gain a couple of yards up to the 22-yard line. Especially on third down, you understand you want to keep this possession alive. You have to do everything in your power sometimes to bail out your quarterback, and it's exactly what he does here, and it brings up a fresh set of downs. Stroud to throw here on first down. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. On second down, Stroud. This is This is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Now Mixon. Oh. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal. He'll take this one down to about the three-yard line. First down pickup by Mixon, and he's one of the Texans' many additions this offseason. It's pretty incredible to think, Mike, in only his second year as the head coach, the roster that D'Amico Ryans continues to assemble. Not only is Mixon still a productive back in his own right, but he should take a lot of pressure. Break. They continue to get points, but after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does, and I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball, and got to see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn. On for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Texans earn the lead by the score of 13 to 7. Working out of the gun. 
gun, and here's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. They'll go play action here with Williams. Here's third and seven. Off play action. Here's Williams. That one on target to Moore. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. the 39. Here's a first and 10. Throwing again. Williams. He'll get this underneath to slip. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. Williams to the air once more. To the left side, he's got the match. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. They try to throw again. Here's Williams. He's going to have the first down and then some. And he's in. D.J. Moore. Touchdown Bears. His second touchdown of this first half. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears move out in front by a point. It's 14 to 13. Team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. This is fielded inside the five, and this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. They'll start out first down and 10. Here's Stroud. The throw left side finds down. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. On the ground, it's Mixon. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. 
When the offense broke the huddle in the line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. Here's first and ten. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. On first and ten, here's Strap. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. to throw here on first and ten. And he's in. Carlton Schultz. Touchdown, Houston. Baron for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans will open up a six-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Jones now on the return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Until he gets inside the 25-yard line. 
That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, that on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Jimmy Ward that time shuts it down. They face second down and seven. To throw, it's Williams. Cross right side to the tight end for that. They get 14 yards and set up first and goal. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And, Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend. He can run. He can get in and out of his break. And I think that's a big reason why as he's continued to develop, he's a very good run blocker. But he's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. And he will get into the end zone. Caleb Williams. Touchdown, Chicago. is Santos for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Bears will go up by a point here in the second quarter. away here comes a return from the five and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line Texans offense and they're running back set to go once more and as a play caller when you've got a guy who's running like this you lean on him and your offensive line has had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. That'll be taken in by Nixon. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts. It allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. First down, the drive will continue after a pickup of eight. <laughs> to throw, it's Stroud. Thank you. 
Apollo, please. No, 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 no. Yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. First and 10 now from the 36. Back to throw. Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Set up to throw. To one side. Caught by Schultz. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Throwing with anticipation, and that only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples now. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. Fair Baron coming on to try the field goal. This about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Texans get three here late in the first half to take the lead. this first half kicking with the lead now as this one is in the air and this one is fielded in the end zone will not be returned it will come out to the 30. set to go now on first and ten throwing is Williams first half. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the former Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. This is still anyone's ball game at this point. The difference is just two as we begin quarter number three. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. 
Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. The tight end, Komet, is on the move. He'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over 1,000 yards rushing, and he's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. Off play action. Here's Williams. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. Here's Williams. It is brought in in the end zone. He did. Allen. Touchdown, Bears. Santos for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bears will up the lead to five. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. Here's Pierce for the return. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. Come to the line now on second and two. They'll go right back to Mixon. Mixon has the first down and more. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. They will work the middle with Mixon. He'll forward for maybe a yard. 
Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. Here's second and nine. To throw is Stroud. Open man, that's Collins. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Third down, three to go. Now, Stroud. He's got his man. It's Diggs. He'll get out of bounds. A gain of eight. And that's going to be good enough for a first down. Is Stroud trying the right side, taken in by Collins, and he'll be taken down at the 25 yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Give running right. It is Mixon. And a good run there. And get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's a toss right side to Mixon. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. That was just a race to the edge, and in this case, Mike, he just wasn't the winner. I mean, at this point, when the defense is out there waiting for you, it's tough for any runner in this league to even get back to the original line of scrimmage. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. He'll try to run for it. Set him down. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield. Nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself. Picks up the first down. And then to protect himself with the slide. Well done. And the Texans are going to be set up with first and goal. He couldn't quite break the plane. They'll have it at the one-yard line. What a great run down here inside the red zone, Mike. It's so important that you still can run the ball. Great job here by the back. I thought for a minute he was going to score. He gets it all the way down inside the one, and I wouldn't be surprised if they let him finish this drive. And that big clearing space. He's in. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. Here's Stroud to the line. His guy's going to try to get two more. They look to run with Mixon. And he finds his way into the end zone again. Good stretch. Finding the goal line. The touchdown and the two-point giveaway.
yards away after the touchdown. Here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The veteran Keenan Allen and the rest of the Bears offense heading out to take over once again. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's a handoff to Swift. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop you behind the line again. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call. And you can see the end result. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. He's got the hook up there to Odunze. First time they've looked his way all game long. He comes through with the grab and a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Here's second and three to go. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Aziz Al Shire with the stop. Throwing on second down, Williams to the left side into the hands of Moore. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. First down, Chicago. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. This level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. To the left side, he's got to come out. It is third and inches. I'll uh, give up the middle with Swift. That is a gain of 15, and now it's first and goal. I 
think if that rush would have failed, Mike, I think they would have had an interesting decision to make come fourth down, but that's all out the window now. Nice pickup, sets up first and goal. This has been some kind of march downfield now, and they pay it off with six. It's first and goal. They'll run with Swift, and they are all over that on defense. Good serve, drops him back. It's part of the nine-yard line. The more rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. They'll go with him again. Stop at the six. And that sets up third and goal. These two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. For the lead, here is third and goal. Third down is Williams from the gun. And he feels the pressure and will go down back at the six. You have to wonder if we look back at the end of this game, Mike, and say, was this a prime opportunity for this offense that they blew after that third down sack? Opportunity to take the lead here late in the game, and instead, I think there's a real decision about whether or not they should just take the three and chip away at this lead. So now, the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to tie things up here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. It's good. That evens the score here in the fourth quarter. And this is where it pays to have a kicker you can trust, Mike. I mean, this is as big a spot as there is. Fourth quarter, what does he do? He comes out and he delivers to tie up this game. in store in the remaining time. <laughs> Cross the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll keep it on the ground. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. They'll run here. Whoa! And he back outside the 35, but that is good enough to move the sticks. choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game they'll come up here on second down and five on 
on play action. Stroud. Deep down the reception. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game. Fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. From the 35, it's first and 10. They'll stick to the ground. And he surges for, for a gain of about five. to go but nothing developing tackled behind the line it's a loss of one this is what every defense in the league is shooting for Mike negative plays that's how you kill drives force teams to play from behind the sticks great job here taking them down for a loss wow an important one coming here tie game late and this is third down Nixon has the first down and more they are not having success on defense. That play picks up 19 yards. That's a heck of a run right here, Mike. Tie game, fourth quarter. Everything's on the line. Can you win in the trenches? Can the threat of that run continue to balance off the pass? And that's a big game there as they try to go take this lead. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Now Mixon. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Good drive now faces a tough conversion. It is third and long. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. So now it's Kaimi Fairbair in a pressure situation. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. Take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So they lead by three here in this fourth quarter. Now have to turn it over to the defense as they kick it off. Oh. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bears' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll do so with first and ten. as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. 
Williams. It'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. A big play looming here. They need to convert. It is third and inches. They'll try to run for it. It's swift, and he's going to be taken down here. Looks like a pretty good spot, though. Yes, he's got it. That's a first down. To throw, it's Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. On first down, it's Swift. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. on picking up the first down forget that they go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown yeah and i don't think it was just your focus mike i think in this case it was the defense's focus they're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown on is santos for the pat he gets it to go and the Bears have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead that fourth quarter touchdown time to kick it back the other way very good kickoff returnable from the four and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession they try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Here's Stroud. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Open man downfield. It's Nico Collins.
They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. They go right back to Collins. He's got it again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. First down, it's Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They come up for second and two. They'll drop to throw. They try to work the screen with Nixon. And they'll be brought down after a short pickup. But that is enough for a first down. There's that man again. Another pass. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments of the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. An important extra point up and good, so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Jones now on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to take over once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. Keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll come up for first and ten. Throwing is Williams. Looking middle and complete with Allen. He's taken down but just shy of midfield.
final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Back deep for the back of the end zone. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. And it'll lead to a second down. from Southern California, and here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. To throw is Williams. third and final timeout and they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game so now the brazilian born pyro santos in a big spot this to potentially send us to overtime so a big one coming for their veteran kicker this one he's gotta have this one is on target and it is good and we are almost certainly bound for overtime and that's really well done here mike i mean everything's in rhythm a good snap a good hold and a good kick ties this game seconds here overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off this one will be taken in the end zone no run back forthcoming and the ball coming out to the 30 yard line this is first and ten Get one of the 
defenders to jump. So after the penalty, a break as they now have first and five. Stroud. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. Here's second down. Here we go. One final play. He'll look deep here for Diggs. And that's going to be incomplete. They took one last chance here in regulation. It does not pan out. And we are headed to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Here's Pierce for the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Second and seven. A run here with Mixon. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. Dell motioning over. Back to throw. Stroud. He will let this go. Deep downfield for Dell. That is not the way downfield. Incomplete. He makes sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop. Sets up fourth down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And... It ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They'll start with great field position up at their 45. in motion here. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. 
the best offensive play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under center run game, like we just saw here, with their under center play action game. And the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. First down, they give it right back to Swift. Looking to move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Here's a second and three fourth come. Dell motioning over. Stroud to throw here on first down. Oh! And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. They'll run out of the gun with Mixon. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three. Third and a yard. Throwing is struck. This one intercepted. Picked up. T.J. Edwards. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. Wait, find me a defense that doesn't love being part of a battle like this in overtime. I mean, the back and forth, stop after stop. And now this group comes through with a huge turnover to now give their offense a chance to go out there and finally end this ball game. So now, the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This one to win it in overtime. So, a big one coming for their veteran kicker. This one, he's got to have. This kick is good. 
He got it. And the Bears are going to move out in front. 